In this video, we'll be going over different methods approved to terminate your shielded cable. Hi, this is Chris from Garmin. This is our experimental shield termination with a wire float. We start by establishing our window metrics. We understand that from the tip of the wire where the termination occurs to the end of where the float will happen, there's a metric window that we want to hit. And we're going to create a window with our scoring tool, establishing the brakes, and then we want between a quarter and five sixteenths of an inch worth of exposed shield braid. You can carve this up, but be very careful not to break any of your shield wires. Having established our window of exposed shielding, we apply our shield termination, keeping the braid wire on the same side as what will be our terminated wire ends. And then we shrink the shield splice. Important things to remember are to rotate often, to distribute even heat, and keep applying the heat until the center stripe goes from red to fully melted silver. You can see where we've melted both ends and have good separation of the environmental termination. Then we will peel back, we will score the insulation, at our given metric according to the installation documentation, strip off the insulation material, push back our shielding, and cut it flush. Being careful not to cut any of the core conductors in the wire itself. Remove our strain relief paper and then we can apply our shrink tubing for the completed termination. Start with our wire prep, scoring the jacket, removing the insulation sleeve, push back your shielding and pinch it off. If you pinch it over to one side, you can make one cut and get most of, if not all, of your shielding sleeve. You also want to make sure you get the strain relief paper that is usually in this, along the center conductors. We make our shielding as neat as we can, remove any excess strain relief, and then install our solder sleeve. Notice I kept the heat applied until the red stripe went completely silver, and we can see that either end of the environmental splice is completely melted. If you would like to see the next step in the process, please refer to our follow-on video, Crimping Contacts and Ring Terminals.